Hey guys, we're back again. As I was saying in the last video, we we're going to come out and do a bit of a um, uh, give you a bit of a tour of the block of land that we have purchased and we're starting to put a house on. So um, we're currently standing in our what would you call it backyard driveway to the shed driveway to the shed or driveway out of the shed whichever yeah whichever way so the shed's going to go up the back of us there so we had our um we had our slab poured when was that yesterday yeah so we're fresh out fresh out here um as you know we're all we're, we're getting ready to race gimpy tomorrow night so it's straight off from here out to Bredo's house to load up and back home. So, um, here it is. Here's the there's the slab, and as everybody says, that it's always um, it always looks smaller than it actually is when it's there. So we're actually yeah we're a little bit worried because it is. I actually think the shed's going to be bigger than the house, but anyway. <laughs> Bree seems Bree seems impressed. Um, so yeah, that's um, so that's essentially over there where the where the work cars parked um, is going to be our driveway in, and then over there in that corner will be the shed. So it'll be a drive through, so straight drive in and out of the shed, and then down the. Down the uh, down the driveway there, and then out onto the road, and away we go. So it's exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Um, Nathan just wanted you to. I just can't. The shed. I just can't <laughs> wait for the shed. Like basically that that whole corner section yeah. over there is um, going to be filled with race car goodness. So I, <laughs> look, I'm I'm super excited, but. Not to say that I'm not having fun working out at Bredo's house because he's a he's a bloody laugh and a hoot. So <laughs> anyway, we're off to go and do that now. We're going to go and load up. Uh, we'll go out, run the fuel up. Um, yeah, and then take it back into take it back into the city tonight, and then head up to Gympie first thing tomorrow morning, and hopefully have a have a uh, have a good time at um, Gympie tomorrow night. So. See us. Say bye, bye. bye. <laughs> All right, here we are at Team Bredo. What do I do? I need to do on the car? Nothing. Put the methanol carburetor on it and load it in the trailer over there. In the trailer. On the trailer. In the trailer. Let's get. Cracking at it. I mean, let's. You get I'll get cracking at it. it. Yeah. What's this cheating action going on underneath oh, here? Hey? I hope you're not cheating in here. Hey. Alright, so. Swap the carby out. Look at that. The tyres are prepped, ready to go. The old cling wrap on it. They're good to go. Even Brado has got some cling wrap on too. Look at him. I better not do that. Push his bloody car off the hoist. All right, we'll get stuck into it. Back in the trailer, in for us. Keep coming back there, Braddo. Bit more. Bye, -bye. that'll do ya. All right. Get everything, oh, here you go then. Get everything loaded up. Oh, 
Oh no. Winch him in, wind him in and that'll do us. Loaded up, I forgot to unlock the I forgot to unlock the trailer door from the outside, so I've got to crawl through the trailer. So I reckon we'll get this thing strapped in. Oh, we'll get the big girl strapped in and hook the ram up and I think we're go time. How are you going, Brad? Found the leak. You found the what? The leak? Oh, Brother reckons he's found a potential leak. Is that that ten tenths or two yeah, tenths? Yeah. Ten tenths or two tenths? Two <laughs> we'll get it tied down and good to go. Yard work, mate. Oh, yeah. That's all that doped up rubber compound that he's put on his tyres. Cheating again. Sneaky bugger. Oh, all right, so that's it. Locked and loaded. Ready to rock and roll. these shocker hitches out not that it was a bad ride um, beforehand but it's one of these new hitches with a with an airbag underneath it just to take a bit of the um, a bit of the sponginess out of the ride so I just I actually tried it last weekend but I think I had the hitch too low so too much weight on the ball so it um, he actually towed like a dog last weekend going to Archfield, so I am trying going to try something different. Um, you know, just raise it up a raise it up a hole, so raise it up an inch, and then see how that goes, I guess. But um, apart from that, we are ready to rock and roll for Gimpy. Right, Brado. I'll see you later, eh? Brado's still scaling the car. We're loaded, ready to go. I'll see you on the road yeah. or at the track. Yeah. See you, mate. Thanks, buddy. <sighs> on the road back to home. We'll have a good night's sleep. We can get cracking on the road about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, see how we go. What are we thinking? Rain? <laughs> Just checking all the warnings. Act oh. now, South East Queensland. Act now, hey? Tie down loose outdoor items. Move vehicles undercover. I didn't close my bedroom window. <laughs> you didn't close your bedroom window. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully we get to go racing, but... We shall see. We shall see. It wouldn't be the first time we've driven and been rained out. In the meantime, lunch. Different, huh? 
What do you reckon? You got four wheel brakes? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing alright as long as Pagel doesn't rough up, the best thing to do is clip the infield here, yeah. let it drift to the wall, and then straighten the thing up. So when you go through Pagels, you just straight, straight head line. for the dog leg and yeah. you don't need to turn there. Yeah. And when you get to the dog leg, you get on the brakes and you're gonna drive like a bitchman car. Slow all <laughs> your speed up before you get to the hairpin yeah. and then drive into it with power, otherwise you'll sled and you will climb this wall. Mm. Yeah. Right, right, right. What do you reckon, Brado? Yeah. Pumpkins, just here. What, on the wall? Yeah, on the fence? Take the paint off the fence, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if it translates on video, but it's... This looks a lot more wiggly now. Yeah. yeah it's definitely what do you think of the whole uphill situation? Hopefully by the end of the night, the Chevs will... Because it'll go slick. Mm. Oh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully they'll buzz the tyres up the hill, and that'll be where I'll. Oh, yeah. That's the. That's the. Uh, hopefully, all get a bit throttle happy. Hmm. Got to play the long game, hey. Play the long game. Yeah, Twenty-five laps. Twenty-five so. laps. Yeah. Yeah. So what? It's hot laps. Yeah, hot laps three heats and then a 25 lap feature and each heat is 10 yeah look how rocky it is yeah. have fun getting that thrown at your face all night might have a clean car but <laughs> have a destroyed front end yeah buy stickers yes. <laughs> Taking a second to cool down. <laughs> Stand in front of the aircon. <laughs> it's pretty muggy out there. Oh. We just went out for um, the Grand Parade. How does the track look when you're when you're on it? I don't know. It's, it's um. It'll be interesting to see how we go on the first heat because it's um, fairly. Well, it's really wet in some places and then really dry in others. So yeah. I don't know. It'll just be a matter of picking the right. The, the right mm. lines and then away we go so yeah we saw the water truck sliding down the slide down the, down the, down the, hill, the hill a little so. bit when he was watering the truck yeah so they've got a pretty they've got the track pretty wet so but anyway oh, we've cool. got some hot we got hot laps so it'll give us maybe two or three laps to because i've never been to this track before um well and am cars haven't raced here in the last 10 or 12 years i think they said so yeah it should be a should be a good night. We'll go and have a crack in hot laps and and then uh, straight back here for the first heat after that. Cool. So heat 1B is down, heat, oh sorry, 1A is down, heat 1B should be rolling out right, of the right, track any in. minute. Ten cars are back. Good speed. Good speed. Red row bottom. He means business tonight. It's Amcar Nationals' first time racing out at Gympie in about 10 years. So we've got 17 cars out tonight. Um, so it's a really nice big field and they've actually had to split it into um, two races per heat. So um, Nathan is in this heat and he's starting out a P3. Is 
down the bottom there alrighty so we have I think three laps to go yep alrighty let's go second for most of the race and then I don't know I'll have to it all happened really really quickly but I'll have to check it out and um, see what happened but you know it's one of those really tricky tracks where one corner can change the whole race so um, yeah so we started in P3 we actually ended up in P4 but um, yeah we'll have a chat to Nathan see how he's feeling so we're just re-watching the, the footage to to see what's happened but um I don't know, it's kind of like post-race ritual now to see, you know, how he handles on the track and what he can do better. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll talk to him soon. Bolt's just... What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting ready to go over to the right? Yeah. Bolt's 
Pope's answer to the rain, just sitting, <laughs> sitting in the car. So the yeah, car. Your wife's gonna make a video of this one for sure. Do I look like someone that wouldn't have aircon? <laughs> so the yeah. car's undercover and we're all standing out in the rain. Take a photo of the lightning too. Typical me. There's a lightning show happening apparently. It's bucketing. But yeah, as long as the car's dry. Oh, oh. <laughs> done. Done. Done done. Called it. Called it. Not happy, Jane. Not happy. Nate's not happy. Who'd have thought it'd better rain? Nate's got the sads on. Bolt's already thinking about food. Have a ripper party so they don't get their bomb back. <laughs> washed up after Gimpy. Um, unfortunately it was a washout so we had alt laps um, and one heat and we I think we started at a P3 for the first heat and finished up with a fourth so we ran second for a while um, and got passed by two guys on the um, uh, with two or three laps to go so look we um, I think I think they're gonna have us there again um, Towards the end of the season, hopefully. So that'll be good if we can get a get a get a rain out day out there again. Which um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll have a bit of a bit of a base setup to go off. Big congratulations to Bredo. He actually had a cracker of a first heat and set the fastest time and created a new set a new lap record for the track. So big Bredo um, and won his won his heat as well. So. He had a cracker of a cracker of a night last night, so hats off to Big Bad Bredo. Um, but yeah, look, I think um, I think today we got well. We got wash day today. Um, unfortunately, after a rain out, you still got the same amount of work, same amount of work the next day. Um, and I've got a bit of bit of panel damage to. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of panel damage to touch up after that first heat, but um, yeah, we've got Archfield this weekend coming, so we're looking forward to that. Hopefully, we can um, yeah just keep keep chipping away at that setup, trying to 
just trying to get that little bit that little bit quicker to to get a race win so um yeah big thanks to all of our sponsors once again um dutton one dutton garage um told by matt wicked power dq mr wong hydraulics um revolution race gear gjk contractors sign tech gladstone um hats online mate without all you guys um yeah mate we we, we dead said wouldn't be racing so big thanks to all those guys that are on the car i'll give you another look at them here as we walk around can't thank these guys enough told by matt matty couldn't make it last night actually big thanks and big shout out to joshy too he um um flew in from tasmania on friday night at like 11 30 at night obviously he didn't get home and uh, didn't get home into bed until about one o'clock friday night and then he was at our house bright-eyed bushy-tailed ready to go racing um first thing saturday morning to head up to gimpy so we've given him the day off he's um he's not out here giving us a hand to wash today but um no, rightly so too mate big big thanks to joshy for for being there every time we're out out racing so and big thanks for, thanks to breezer as well for um doing all the videos Bree's mum come out last night as well so that was cool to have yeah we had a quite the little crew going along so big thanks to everybody that supports us and um yeah we'll get stuck into this report back later <laughs> because you all know I like my bling. Is there any way that you can polish out rubber marks from someone's tire? Um, yeah, turned out all right. But anywho, I'm gonna get stuck in the trailer. Look at this mess. Get out and do three laps in hot laps and 10 lap heat race. It's not that bad. I don't know what I'm whinging about. A couple of bits of mud. It'll be right. I thought it was worse, guys. I thought it was worse. Having a rest. You tired, Teddy? It's been a big day. Uncle Bretto's been out all day. Yeah, Katie was just saying that you. Been here so long. You were here. Did you check his car out while he's gone? <laughs> I got his secret sauce. Don't you worry. <laughs> Done for another week. Or another. Only another a few couple days. Of days. We're back into it again this weekend. Next stop. Archfield. Yep. Thanks, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of Gimpy. Um, it was a pretty cool track, so hopefully we'll be back out there again soon. And, yeah, share it with your friends. We'd love to share the love, get it out there. Um, and, yeah, as always, we shall see you next time. Bye. bretto has gone out to help Scotty. Um, take his car to go and get wrapped. So I figured I might have a little sticky beak while I'm here, just underneath. Just to see that secret sauce that he had going on last night after his race win and his lap record. I can't, uh, can't let him get away with that. So I'm gonna get at it. One eternity later. Well, I've had a look underneath his car and I couldn't find anything out of the ordinary or suspicious except for there was a big hole underneath where he sits which i reckon that's 
potentially where he let his uh, crown jewels hang out below his seat and he got underneath that right foot pedal and I reckon he just let it eight in that first heat. That's all I can put it down to. So maybe that's what I need to do is just cut a little hole in that seat and uh, get stuck into it next time instead of half footing it, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh, Bretto, with the, with the win and the track record. Bloody hell, I still can't get over it. Good on him. Bloody good on him.